for all its inconveniences, Lang was satisfied with life in the high rise. Lang, he lives on the 25th floor, so he's somewhere in the middle, and he is a bachelor who's moved into the high rise to get away from responsibilities. The high rise is really symbolic of society. I thought you were empty. I just moved in. You're an excellent specimen. The high rise is organized very quickly and it starts to feel like the people on top are getting all the good stuff and the people on the bottom are not. It's that idea of the, you know, sort of middle class or working class against the super rich in a kind of Orwellian way. You don't know how things work around here, do you? I'm a fast learner. Royal is the architect of the high rise. You built all this. Project far from finished. And there is no one who has risen higher as I live at the top in the penthouse. Is that a horse? Probably. My wife rides on the 40th floor. Which floor are you? Uh, 25. We're down in the bottom and all sorts of shadows. Things would be better if we could afford to move to a higher floor. We pay the same charges as the top floors. We want our fair share of the power. It is J.G. Ballard's opinion of what a high-rise would become in a dystopian world. How's the high life? Prone to fits of mania, narcissism, and power failure. Ooh. I was at home and I was looking Hi. at the bookcase and I saw high-rise on the bookcase and thought, no one's done it, it's not been made into a film. 30 years in the making is quite a long time. <laughs> so we came up with this idea that we'd set it in the back, back in the period. It makes me feel like I'm eight. Everybody looks like my folks did when I was growing up. The sideburns, the hair, the huge glasses, the shag, the smell of smoke. We must prevail. Bang, straight back to 1975. I think we should be prepared to meet moderate resistance. Perhaps you're right. He watches as his creation sort of eats itself. The more the cocoon of the high-rise itself starts to fracture, the more the inhabitants start to go mad. What are you doing? Gap between civilized society and a bestial nightmare is paper thin. What are you doing in there? I think it's a film that's going to capture the imagination. Does it seem odd that a man can fall from the 39th floor? There are moments where you just can't really believe what's going on. And not one police car turn up? It's mad on so many different levels. It's a very trippy ride. Where's the sirens? When something like this comes up, you have to go see it. It's going to be something special, something different, and something that you won't see again. What have you got there? A kaleidoscope. What can you see through that thing? The future. <sighs> hey, I've got a movie fact for you. Did you know that Darth Vader only has 12 minutes of screen time in the original Star Wars? Mm. For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. Or for more trailers, click on the playlist. <laughs>